The storm didn't pick favorites either. No area. None of the Inland Northwest was spared from the impact of this historic storm. Several areas in the Spokane Valley hit very hard, including Terrace View Park, the neighborhood around it, and homes near Ponderosa Elementary. KXY4's Liz Donovan shows us the damage. We took a ride through the valley today to look at some of the damage and you can see here on 25th these guys are working very hard to clear this large tree from the roadway and just a couple doors down a homeowner not too lucky not one but two trees fell on top of his house. I was sitting right inside of that broken window about five o'clock and heard a big noise and then it hit the roof and a branch came right through the ceiling. Missed me by about three feet. Dave Shear's house looks bad on the outside. I hope you got lights because there, light, yeah. there's no power. But the inside shows the real story. That's where the branch came through the ceiling and I was sitting in this chair when it happened. Drywall and broken glass cover his living room. That's a shock when you're sitting in that chair and that branch comes through the ceiling. Right Shear there. says that branch came way too close. And I heard another crack. And that's when the second tree broke off halfway up, came down. I literally said my prayers. A few blocks away, Terrace View Park is full of neighbors, getting a first look at the storm damage. I just had my grandchildren playing on this play structure on Monday. But today, that structure is nearly crushed in the path of one of the many pine trees ripped from their roots. It's okay. shocking. It's shocking, yeah. There's trees down all over the valley. Just around the corner from Ponderosa Elementary, roots ripped out. Once a shady backyard, now a strip of dirt. Huge trees demolishing the fence. Worst storm I've ever seen in Spokane, by far. And damage we hope to never see again. The homeowner says he knows a lot of other people are in this same situation today, assessing the damage and trying to figure out what to do next. But he says he's just happy that he was okay. Reporting in Spokane Valley, Alyssa Donovan, KXLY4 News.